Hi friends, this is Andy Vegan. Ice cream time. Our, in the 90s, I guess, outside of 30 degrees or so, more than that in Berlin, in the south of Germany, we have storms, floods, everything, even snow or hail. It's really amazing the weather uh, does escapades and of course, Mother Nature kicking back. Now, we have, it's no wonder what we do to the animals and to the nature. Uh, no wonder that that is a catastrophe now. In Germany, people see it every day in the newspapers or in the t uh, news and the TV or so, always photos and movies and clips from these situations um, mid in the summertime. You know? So that's very curious. People have never seen that before. But I don't wonder. Uh, but it's hot outside and I like ice cream. And I love that. It's very easy. I take three ingredients. Today I have banana. And my, my food processor. Oh, well, one word to that. I'm going to forget that I have an S plate here, of course, for the food processor. And I need my food processor for that because the power blender would be too much. Now, the power blender it gets very warm pretty quickly, and then the ice cream turns into liquid and melts. And the food processor turns slowly, relatively, compared to the high speed blender. <coughs> and then the ice cream has perfect texture. I don't need to freeze it anymore anymore. That's a very easy way to make ice cream and so delicious. The bananas, yeah, we every know everybody knows that the banana ice cream, you know, you have some slices of the banana. I slice it before I freeze it. Then I freeze it overnight and they are frozen here. These are frozen banana clips. See? And I have bought the same amount um, with the uh, blueberries that go into the blender. I don't need to wait too long. Everything has to be prepared once I take them out of the freezer. Um, to get a really nice texture after the after the processing. Same with the blueberries here. Also, they are frozen. Yeah. And about the same amount of the alas, the bananas. Down there too. And um, still picking because they are frozen to the little bowl here. They need to be frozen when you process them, and then you can make a perfect ice cream without freezing them again. Usually when you make ice cream, you first make uh, the liquid, and then we freeze it, and then we thaw it again to eat. But this time, just easy. And I have half of a lemon here, that's very nice together with the banana, both, and the blueberries. Just half and I You see, I cut them into smaller pieces, because I don't want to have um, a long time to process them. This, the little uh, peels here inside. So very easy going. Everything cut into small pieces. And when you want to have the flavor of the lemon, you have to go to the peel yeah, and the cest. I have a little cester here and the half of a lemon here. It's a, it's a huge lemon. I cested it here and you see this will have lemon. You can imagine how large my lemon was. So that goes also in there. And I guess they have the perfect flavor with the banana, the lemon and the blueberry. The cest not to forget. forget. So this is what I have, you see, it's a lot. It looks like a lot, but it will turn into a small quantity when it's processed. And now, don't lose any time anymore. It's frozen. And it shall remain so. <laughs> but the dance is often is mandatory. Let's see. because the more I blend, the more I process, the more it will thaw. And I don't want to have it thaw, I want to have the right texture right now. And when something's left over, because it is a little bit too much for my, myself, friends are coming later or so, quickly put it into the freezer, no problem. It will remain there. Now let's taste it. Mm. Oh. Mm. So easy. You see, put it in the glass. Oh, there are some bananas left. I have to frozen a little bit more, a little bit more. You see that the banana, 
Can you see? Can you see the banana right there? So a little bit more I have to process. I hope it won't melt. Fall. Yeah, I guess that's good. So no more banana. Taste it again. Pieces, I mean. And of course, if it's all processed, it tastes better because then all the flavor combines nicely. So I put now some, ah, oh, very nice, some of the ice cream. And then there are some pieces in there. It doesn't really matter because you have some texture inside. Yeah, also nice. It would be totally cool if we have an ice cream. Um, um, I don't know what they, what they are called, these ice cream, um, when you make a bowl of ice cream uh, with these um, round, you know, these, <laughs> I don't know, coops. Yeah. But this is also very nice, they have an ice cream, I think, right? Isn't it? It's my, my blueberry banana ice cream. Very happy with it now. I will go outside into the, into the garden, maybe sit in the sun and enjoy my ice cream. And yeah, tell me how you feel about it. Of course you can refine, you can put dates in it, or cinnamon, other spices, whatever. Just to begin with an easy version, bananas and some fruit. You can even go only bananas. It's a perfect ice cream, you can try it. It's amazing, I have a video online. But this is also very nice. There's so many varieties possible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah enjoy yourself, enjoy summer if you have the opportunity. It's so easy and so nice to make your own ice cream. And it's super healthy, only fruit. Enjoy. And subscribe if you like and be vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And you find me on Facebook too, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and everywhere. <laughs> See you soon.